Let's kick off the Every Bit Counts Challenge, shall we? Welcome to Garden Preserve. I'm Carter. I'm so glad you're here today. This is going to be so much fun. If you'll recall in last week's video, I said I wanted everyone to participate in this if you wanted to. Send me pictures and I would post them once a week. Well, I didn't really expect any pictures this week, but so many of you are so on the ball <laughs> that I already have some pictures to share with you. Now, a lot of folks have adjusted the challenge to meet their needs, and that's perfect. That's exactly the way you should do it. So some folks are maybe going out of town in August. Some folks work full time and are still trying to get this done. I don't know how you do all of that. That's that, Kudos to you. I, I'm, in, I'm in awe of you. Uh, some of you live farther south, and your season is really wrapping up right now because your temperatures are over 100 degrees. Tomatoes are done. Peppers are done. You're done. <laughs> so I have those pictures. Some of you are just getting started. Some of you have been rolling since June. Some of you can only film on weekends, so you're trying to get everything done. So I'm very excited to have all of these. So let's just jump right into it. This first picture was sent to me by White Dove. She calls this Thai Hot Sweet Dipping Sauce. How amazing does that look? Someone said to me earlier this, maybe it was last week, that I needed to learn how to make egg rolls for my Asian plum sauce. Well, I think I need to learn how to make egg rolls and Thai Hot Sweet Dipping Sauce. <laughs> that looks so good. David would just, oh my gosh, he'd be in heaven if I did that. So thank you so much, White Dove, for sending in that beautiful submission. All right, let's move on to Felicia. Now, Felicia lives down south, and her season is over. She's well into the hundreds each and every day now. So she did hers June and July. So you will just be amazed at how much Felicia has gotten done. But let's start with this first picture. These are sand plums. I had to look up what a sand plum is apparently it is something that was very treasured by Native Americans and still grows quite prolifically in Florida and Oklahoma, probably some other places in the southeast. Uh, but that, that was as far as the article went that I was reading. So she had enough of those sand plums to make 36 cups of plum juice and 20 jars of plum jam. That's, that's just an amazing haul. So let's go on to her next one now, Chow Chow. So if you're not Southern, you know, maybe you're not totally familiar with Chow Chow, but it is a staple down here. It is a relish. It's a bit sweet, and it can have all kinds of different things in it. Traditionally, it has green tomatoes, bell peppers, onion, and then it can have a few other things. It can have different spices. It can have mustard. It can have turmeric. It can have garlic. So she has done her... Oh, it can also have cabbage. She has done hers with sweet banana peppers, which I think is a fantastic use of sweet banana peppers. Just a brilliant way to use them. And she clearly had a ton of green tomatoes, as you're going to see here shortly. So I'm pretty excited about, about her recipe for chow chow. I think I'll be doing some chow chow at the end of my season as well. So now let's take a look at some of the things that she canned on this day. You can see all the sliced green tomatoes in there. Doesn't that look wonderful? I imagine she's going to use those for fried green tomatoes but we'll see if she pops into the conversation. And I think that's her plum sauce that she has canned right there. It's just a, it's a gorgeous color. All right, so now we're gonna get on to what she's frozen. So there are just a couple of items in this picture. You can see okra and green beans, but she tells me she has frozen 10 quarts of green beans, seven gallons of tomatoes, four pints of peaches, approximately 36 cups of plum juice, and six cups of mulberry juice. That is one packed freezer, Felicia. All right, now we're gonna get on to the picture that y'all are just gonna come back to time and time again, and this is Felicia's pantry. It's amazing. Let me read you a list of what all she has managed to can this season. Tomato paste, pepper relish, tomato trifecta soup, chow chow, okra, corn, peach salsa, cowboy candied jalapenos, bone broth, taco soup, plum jam, green tomatoes, watermelon syrup, cantaloupe syrup, mulberry jam, and pickles. Wow, that is a gorgeous pantry. Gorgeous pantry, Felicia. Thank you so much for sending that. I enjoyed every minute of it. 
Okay, next we're going to move on to Brandy. Brandy, I want you to look at this picture. This is what Brandy did in one day. One day. She did green beans in both quarts and pints, potatoes in both quarts and pints, and Italian beef. I'm exhausted just thinking about doing all of that in one day. Brandy, I don't know how in the world uh, you do it. So I am, I am thrilled. You did a great job. Your pantry is just going to be overflowing with wonderful food this year. So that is very exciting. I look forward to seeing what you do next time. Thank you, Brandy. Now Jane, Jane started hers a day early because she works full time. And I thought, oh my goodness, <laughs> I would have had to start two months early if I worked full time as well. So she says her goal is to preserve seven items per week instead of one item daily. And I think that's a really good way to bend it to suit you because this is not about, it's not a regimented thing for heaven's sakes, it's your, your rules. But I think that is a fantastic challenge. So on this one day, she did chicken broth and peach salsa on her first day of the challenge. I think that's a great haul. Two very different items but two items that are going to be so useful in her pantry. So you're off to a great start, Jane. Can't wait to see what you do the rest of the month. Lori is next. Lori also works full time, but she, she absolutely loves canning and preserving and, and her spirit and her enthusiasm is just so infectious. It's just wonderful. So she was out of town for a couple of days and came home to this incredible harvest. You can see she has cucumbers, and zucchini and a ton of jalapenos, some nice slicing tomatoes, uh, maybe a plum tomato in there, and then some little cherries. So she has quite the haul that she came home to, and that's very exciting. So the first thing she decided to tackle is those cucumbers. So she got all of her cucumbers prepped and ready, and she turned them into three beautiful jars of refrigerator pickles that also used her homegrown garlic. Tell me those aren't absolutely gorgeous jars. That's just beautiful. I just, I don't even know what to say about that. It's spectacular, Lori. Thank you so much. So I was so glad that Lori sent in her refrigerator pickles because I didn't really talk about them in the last video, but I do want to reiterate the refrigerator pickles can be a fantastic way to preserve little bits and bobs as they come in or when you're just overwhelmed and you know cucumbers have to be tended to right away. So refrigerator pickles are fantastic and they'll last you several weeks, maybe even a couple of months. You see in this picture here, the, the two on the bottom level on the quarters, there's one with the radishes. That's the one David, he just sat down and ate it with a fork and then didn't want me to throw away the juice because I had to save it for, for something. I thought that was hysterical. And then the other one on the other side, he, again, took that one at a fork and sat down to have a snack, told me it was the best thing he'd ever had. And I'm looking at it, chuckling to myself, because this is the man who says he does not like green beans, will never eat a green bean. <laughs> I'm trying not to tell him that there were green beans in that one. But anyway, it is in my plan this month to do a lot more refrigerator pickles, because we enjoy that just every day. Not everything has to end up in the pantry or the freezer. So don't forget to make use of the wonderful little refrigerator pickle in all shapes, sizes, flavors. Use all your vegetables. In fact, fruits sometimes are really good as refrigerator pickles as well. So I want to thank everybody so much for getting everything in early. It was, it was a surprise to me and I was thrilled to see all of it. So go ahead and get me your pictures as you as you take them, you know, once or twice a week is just fine. Send me the highest quality photo that you can. That would be great. And explanation of each photo would be terrific. And I just can't wait to see what you guys do this week. I, mean, I, I just literally, I'm so excited to see these come in. So I thank you so much for participating and so much for being here with me. And I am so glad to see that you guys are out there loving gardening and preserving as much as I do. I, kind of, I feel like I've found my tribe. So thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.